So we are on to our seventh episode and I'm really curious how it's going for you. I've started to have comments and messages from people who are enjoying this. So do share with me which ones are particularly resonating for you um, and which ones you've enjoyed doing. And today I am going to be talking about a legs up the wall pose. And this is a yoga pose and it does have a Sanskrit name, which is Viparita Karani. And, you know, you wouldn't think I'm Indian the way I pronounce that, would you? But it's a restorative yoga posture and it's one that I quite enjoyed doing. Now, there are some contraindications depending on where you are in terms of your menstrual cycle or if you've got specific conditions that prevent you from doing inversions as well. Um, So if that's something that you're aware of, then obviously, um, you know, skip this one. But I would say it's a pretty low stakes uh, way of doing an inversion because you're lying on your back, but you're legs are against the wall. And what you kind of need to do is you need to find a wall where you can climb your legs up against and the, um, and you kind of want to be lying down either on a mat or on carpet. And what you're doing, therefore, is basically creating an L against that wall. Uh, if I can find an image of it uh, and share it in the show notes or a link, then I will do. Uh, but ultimately, This has a number of benefits. You can stay in this position then for up to 20 minutes. You can keep your arms open. And if you want to then um, release the pose, you just push yourself away from the wall um, and you can then kind of roll your um, roll around, um, draw your knees to your chest and roll around a little bit, give your back a bit of a massage, come onto your right hand side, rest for a few moments and then come up into an upright position. The reason why I like this one in an evening is that by the time the evening comes around, um, I'm pretty tired and I want to do nice relaxing things, but I don't want them to require much effort. If I want to listen to an audiobook, I can whilst doing this. Um, but it has a lot of different benefits. You can do good breathing while you're um, engaging in this. You can experiment with diaphragmatic breathing if that's something that you're aware of. And the list of benefits is absolutely huge. I mean, the number one is the relaxation benefit. It can also provide some back pain relief. It can improve thyroid function, increase energy, um, alleviate the lower back tightness, um, uh, improve digestion, and it's good for mood and it can set us up really well um, for sleep. But there are so many. The lymph flow as well is another one that it benefits. Again, what I'm looking for are things that feel kind of, punch above their weight in terms of relaxation. And this is one that I found really does. So I can be on the floor of a child's bedroom while they're reading and I can be doing this pose. I could potentially be have something in one of my ears in terms of listening to something or I can just leave it open to chat to them, but I can just be in that pose. So I can be in the company of my kids, but I can be doing something that's quite nice and grounding for me. So that's why I really enjoy this pose. And whether you're into other forms of yoga or not, I see this as something which can either fit into a yoga, restorative yoga category, or it can just stand alone um, as a useful inversion. So give it a go and let me know how it feels for you. And there should be a link in the show notes just so that you've got something visual here as well. Um, Or if I find a useful YouTube video that describes this, I will include that as well. All right, give it a go and let me know how you found it. 